My name is Courtney Paul and I'm a Beagle choreographer and DJ from Durban, South Africa, now based in Johannesburg. I made the move at 21, I packed the bags, no plan in sight, and I just knew I wanted more. This was a very tricky thing for me because we had never seen um, a South African Beagle success story, you know, that, that really pushed the boundaries out of the country. I know that nothing is going to get handed to me, so I've got to get up every morning and, and just do my best and stay physically and mentally ready for anything. So my training consists of um, fighting, which I think I was fighting just as long as I've been dancing, if not longer, from kickboxing in Durban to Muay Thai in Bangkok, now to, to boxing in Joburg. Um, it really just helps me blow up some steam. It's more for the conditioning, um, get some cardio in and, and keep my body ready for for the moves that I'm gonna attempt later on in the day. Um, and the things that just keep me going is, I've never come from a space where I can sit down and know that things are gonna happen. So this really keeps me in the space of knowing that I gotta get up in the morning, I gotta work hard, run towards the pain, even when I don't feel like it, and just know that if I'm putting in the effort, I'm gonna get the results. Meeting Eddie when I moved to Joburg really turned the table for me because it gave me a safe space to kind of just have conversations, bounce ideas off, laugh at myself, laugh at him sometimes, you know, and grow, um, which I think is super important. Um, especially coming from a space of not having a crew, I've never been in a breaking crew, which often gives you that kind of support and camaraderie and, and, and guidance in the dance. Um, so this relationship was super important. And it really consists of us getting together a couple times a week um, and just training, sessioning, like I say, bouncing ideas and making sure that we're keeping each other accountable and, and growing. Sometimes our sessions don't even consist of dance. We just have conversations, um, which I think is important because this dance can get very strenuous, not just physically, but also on the mind. You know, if you're preparing for competition, it, it feels almost like there's a lot of weight to be carried and I can't take it lightly. I'm never going to take it lightly. So this is a big one for me and the training is important and having people around you that can motivate you, tell you, nah, I don't think that's working or don't be so hard on yourself is super important. So it, it feels great to have a little pillar around me. Breaking and dance started for me around 11, 12 years old. Um, I have a gymnastic background, so I could always do the weird stuff and always wanted to do the weird stuff. But growing up in Durban and also having little to no females around me with that kind of skill set always made it very difficult to figure out what the next steps are. Am I even doing it right? And, and essentially get a guide or assistant, you know? I am so excited to finally get my chance on the BC1 stage. I think the first year that it happened, uh, I was out of the country and it, it felt like a death <laughs> in some weird way, you know. I've been doing this for so long, just waiting for the opportunity. The first local BC1 was something like 20, 2007, you know, and first BO BC1 locally was 2019. So I'm super excited to finally get the opportunity. Um, I'm going to take it to the top. Um, I'm in the right space mentally, physically to, to take that, that, that championship home, you know.